Hi guys, it is a beautiful winter day here in the uh, ice-covered wasteland of uh, South Austin, Texas. We have made it to uh, Tuesday, January 7th, 2014, and uh, my wacky conspiracy theory Tuesday rant. This is actually my third rant of the day. I don't know if my video card runs out. Uh, if my if the if the card runs out, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna redo this because I'm freezing my ass up on this, or literally freezing my ass on this rock. So let me get right into it. This is not. This is just kind of a cousin of the uh, of the conspiracy theory, uh, wacko conspiracy theory rants. But anyway, what this rant started out to be was I was going to do a rant on this little quiz that I took in the Christian Science Monitor yesterday. Uh, I was going to have a rant, a little 30 question quiz, takes you about 10 minutes, I'll put the link onto it, and it is helping you figure out what social class you are in. As a 30 question, so I took the, the, this uh, test, anyway I was going to do a full rant on uh, to find out uh, what social class I was in where I was going to visit some of these questions and stuff. But anyway, I'm just going to cut to the chase of that one uh, because I decided not to do this rant. The bottom line uh, of, of this is I am in the social class of salt of the earth. Ham on Little Tail, according to the Christian Science Monitor, Hambone Little Tail is salt of the earth. Now, I think that was a euphemism for white trash or trailer trash. Uh, that is uh, what, they were, what they were really saying. The Christian Science Monitor politely calling uh, me salt of the earth. And guys, I am, quite, I am quite proud to be considered salt of the earth by the Christian Science Monitor. I encourage you to take the test yourself. It'll take about 10 minutes. Anyway, that's not the rant, so I was going to do that rant. But what happened, as soon as I finished that, I went back on my, uh, on my email to find the latest email. I've mentioned my buddy Mill, uh, one of my favorite uh, conspiracy theorist uh, uh, who lives right here in Austin, Texas, who I met, uh, I met Mel, right, uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, as a matter of fact, and, and we've become close friends. Mel and I don't agree. She's a, on everything. She's a little bit deeper down, more rabbit holes than yours truly, but she, but she is entertaining, and uh, so anyway, she sent me Oh, God, I hope I have it here. Yeah, anyway, this was the uh, email that I received right after finding out that I was salt of the earth. Uh, according to the Christian Science Monitor, she sent me a link to a, it's one of these, one of these uh, right wing, one of these arch conservative right wing conspiracy uh, websites simply called The Truth. The Truth. Exposing the truth about our world one story at a time. And you can, uh, you, you, you can just, the, the usual suspects, they talk about the economy, the police state, the Federal Reserve, social decay, preppers, conspiracy, earth changes, UFOs, blah, blah, blah. Of course, they have links to where you can buy physical silver to survive what's coming down. They have a picture of uh, a photograph of what they claim is a FEMA camp. Uh, is the photo at the top of this. So anyway, uh, what they do is, th 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 this one uh, is titled 72 Types of Americans That Are Considered Potential Terrorist in Official Government Documents. He has the documents. He has the documents. So anyway, 
Uh, what does Michael Snyder of the truth have to say about these documents? Okay, blah, 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 let's go. Uh, let me get right to it because I'm afraid of the, the thing running down. Below is a list of 72 types of Americans that are considered to be, quote, extremist and potential terrorist in official U.S. government documents. To see the original source document for each of these 72 points, just click on the link. And, uh, well, let me go ahead and talk about that for a minute. I actually clicked on uh, about five or six of these links every time I went to these documents. I didn't do all 72 of them, guys. I did five or six. Every time I went to these documents, what they were were U.S. military documents uh, to, like, platoon leaders, to military leaders saying, look out for these 72 characteristics in your platoon, in the, in the people underneath you, in the soldiers that you are leading, that these are danger signs. According to the U.S. military, this is not, at least I never saw a document of the ones I retrieved. It's not like this is going out to every police department in America to be going up and down the streets of America looking for people who fit these descriptions. It is, it is, it is a very narrow band. Do you, do you understand now there might be some others that are not out of that narrow band, but I, but, but I didn't see them. So these are the only documents I saw. So uh, you, you would never realize this listening to Alex Jones, when, because he is, Alex has had this rant many times. This, this is not an original rant. Uh, Alex has had it se several times. You would never know from Alex Jones that uh, these docu what these documents are. So anyway, guys, I am not going to go through. I'm going to put the link on here to see how many for you to take the test yourself. The bottom line is Ham on Little Tail out of 72, out of 72 of these, I hit 14. Uh, 14 out of 72. Uh, my guess, I told, my, I told Mel my prediction is that if I hit 14, that she would hit 42 of them, about three times as many. So, uh, as I say, if the, if the card runs out, I apologize. But I'm just going to go now for anyone who wants to stick around to hear the 14 reasons why Hambo and Littletail uh, is a potential terrorist. I'd better go down to item 71 because uh, I really wanted to touch on it. But I'm going I'm to start with that. How about this one? Those that believe in end times prophecies. Those that believe in end times prophecies. Now, I believe a lot more in the end times prophecies of, uh, of Paul Ehrlich. Uh, than I do in the end time prophecies of Revelation, but uh, I don't totally discount everything in, in Revelation and the Hopis and the Mayans and everything else. Anyway, so yes, if I am a terrorist because I believe that we are in the end times, then uh, yes, I guess I'm a terrorist. Okay, and the others. Right off, number one, those that talk about individual liberties. Number three, those that want to make the world a better place. Okay, number nine, those that take action to fight against the exploitation of the environment and or animals meaning they are fellow earthlings. I think I fit into that. 
Number 22, anyone that is opposed to the new world order, and, and, and guys, their definition of the new world order isn't quite mine. Uh, the new world order that I am opposed to is the global corporatocracy taking over this planet, including every politician on this planet, uh, backed up by the global banksters behind it all and enslaving every goddamn one of us uh, by keeping us fat, dumb, and happy with their planet-eating uh, products. That is the New World Order I am opposed to. Uh, probably not the same New World Order that Michael Snyder is opposed to. Okay, 23... Anyone that is engaged in conspiracy theorizing. Now, uh, of course, I spend more time engaging on Humpty Dumpty Tribe calling out these head up their ass conspiracy theorists than I do uh, supporting them. And that brings me into item, the next two items, 24 and 25. Uh, that I am not guilty of. Okay, anyone that is opposed to Agenda 21. Ta -da! I have had rants. I am in full support of Agenda 21. This Eco Nazi, don't come after me. I I am actually, if you will find, if you Google him on Little Tail, I am a co intel pro, a counter intelligence professional working for the New World, hired by the New World Order to uh, promote their depopulation agenda in Agenda 21. I am in full support of Agenda 21 and uh, item 25, which I assure you does not include Hambone and Little Tail. Anyone that is concerned about FEMA camps, such as the one supposedly in this photograph at the top of this, the reason Hambone Little Tail is not concerned about FEMA camps is because FEMA camps do not exist. They are one of the single biggest myths of these wacko conspiracy theorists uh, right up there with the New World Order depopulation agenda of Agenda 21. So don't don't uh, put me, lump me in with those nutcases. Okay, moving along to nutcases you can lump me in with. Okay, item 29. Those that, well, no, actually, I'm going to cross. I, I, I'm going to cross that. I'm not going to mention that one because I'm, uh, anyway. So I guess I'm guilty of 13. All right, number 32. Anyone that is frustrated with mainstream ideologies. Yes, I am frustrated with mainstream ideologies. Okay, which ties in directly with numbers 33 and especially number 34. Uh, so 33, right under that one, is anyone that visits extremist websites or blogs and let's go on to number 34 probably my favorite anyone that establishes websites or blogs to display extremist views I think uh, and hope that Humpty Dumpty tribe would be considered by the New World Order to be a website or blog that displays extremist views. The extremist views that I am displaying here is we need to bring down global industrial society. We need to bring down the population of this planet down to one billion or less people. We need to immediately cease and desist 
uh, the burning of fossil fuels. Everybody on this planet needs to tear up anything where they're paying interest needs to get out of their lives any interest bearing uh, credit cards mortgages whatever uh, if you are if you are funding the, the these banksters behind it all get that shit out of your life get rid of that gas sucking car and stop buying their products this is the extremist idea that Ayn Rand came up with in 1957. If you want to put the, the, these goddamn evil sons of bitches in the new world order, the global corporatocracy running this planet, and to declare your own freedom from them, there is one way to do it. It is not violence. It is you stop buying their products. Number one product being fossil fuels. And you stop uh, paying uh, the banksters behind it all with interest. There are the, in a nutshell, are the extremist ideas that will be the quickest way to bring down industrial civilization, which in turn will bring the population of this planet down to one billion or less people where it needs to be. Okay, moving along. Where was I? Okay, let's jump on down to item 48. Those that believe in conspiracy theories. Well, guys, it's almost like what conspiracy theories do I believe in other than 9-11 was an inside job uh, and, and uh, who killed JFK? Uh, you, you know, the, the conspiracy that I believe in is the New World Order uh, being the global corporatocracy taking over this planet. That is the conspiracy theory that I believe in. All right. Uh, anyone that is anti-nuclear. Okay, well, uh, anyone that does not agree that nuclear power is going to save this planet, you are a terrorist. Uh, number 66, those that talk about the New World Order in a derogatory manner. Well, I can't get much more derogatory than calling them the single most evil sons of bitches ever that, that have ever uh, inhabited this planet in the history of human civilization. They need to be wiped off the face of the planet. And the way we do that is to stop buying their products. Number 68, those that are opposed to the collection of federal income taxes. And uh, I am proud to say that I have been put on the non-collectible list. The IRS uh, has now put me on their official non-collectible non-collectible list simply because I have so far dropped out of this system that I have reduced my income from $100,000 a year to $8,000 a year. They don't, I am nowhere on their radar. Okay, and that uh, coming up with 71 what I started with, those that believe in end times prophecies. That would be me, which they tie in to number 72, evangelical Christians. Ham on Little Tail is not an evangelical Christian, uh, but any evangelical Christian who reads Revelation and understands that we are in the end times uh, is a lot more clued in than any of these clueless moron non-evangelical Christians who don't believe that we are in the end times. Okay, uh, Anyway, the bottom line is please pray for the United States of America. We definitely need it. And even though I am not an evangelical Christian, I will agree with that statement. We need to pray for the uh, United States of America. 
Uh, that's the least of what we need to do. And, and the very least that we need to do in the United States of America is praying. But that's as good a start as any. Uh, I would suggest as you're praying, stop buying their products. Anyway, this wraps up my third uh, conspiracy, wacko conspiracy theory rant of this Tuesday, and I'm sure I will come up with another one next Tuesday. For this one, bye guys. <laughs>